Dear Holy Father, I come before you and I just ask that you just keep me safe today. Watch over me, guide me, just comfort uh, my family as I'm gone. Just allow me to make a home safely with them. So I ask these things for your son, Saint Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. My name is Ryan Tillman, and I'm inspired to change the face of modern day policing. My purpose in life is to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community. Well, we're so divided right now. People are on the left, they're on the right, and we can't find any place in the middle. As a black police officer, I'm in a unique position because it allows me to be able to resonate with both sides of that coin. The perception of police officers is damaged. There's a reason for that. The fear African-Americans have of the police, it's a real fear because they've experienced some type of bad policing. Going to the other side of the spectrum, people don't respect the police anymore. We've demonized law enforcement so much so that we want to abolish the police. I recognize that most police officers are good and have right hearts and right intentions. I also acknowledge that there are still some biases that exist and we have to be able to figure out how can we fix these biases so that way we can move better as a community. Instead of just looking at what somebody else can do better, we all need to turn the microscope on ourselves and say, what can I do better? One person at a time, I'm gonna change their perception of the way they view law enforcement. Chino's a pretty decent sized city, and then the population is over 100,000. This community means a lot to me. Since I've been here from day one, like I've gotten to know a lot of the residents. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Are you the one that follows? Probably. Yeah. Good morning, Maureen. How are you doing? The fear is real for people, and we can't just brush over it and act like they don't have a fear or they shouldn't have a fear. I can't just show up to my job every day and take people to jail and go home. I realize that I have to go above and beyond and make a lasting relationship with the people I connect with in the community. I want them to start to get to know Ryan, not Corporal Tillman. My man, come on. Trust me, I get it, I get it, but we just gotta also be smarter sometimes. Yeah, be safe, bro, take, take care, God pleasure. bless you too. The faster they can get to know Ryan, the faster I can take away any of those preconceived notions that they may have against law enforcement. Good to see you, Eric. Take care, tell the family I say hello. As a black kid, I viewed law enforcement as the man. I would always make a joke, oh, law enforcement, they're the man, they're the pigs. But on top of that, I also had some bad experiences with police officers. In high school, I remember he and his friend were singled out because it was cold. They had sweatshirts on and the hoodies and all of that. Being in the wrong place at the wrong time, mistaken identity, all those things that you see are realities. I want him to come home just like everybody wants their child to come home. He's not a bad person just because he's black or because he's wearing a hoodie. It really was damaging to have my first interaction with police officers kind of be negative. Uh, I've been a police officer for about eight years now, almost eight years. I was like, so how do I get to, how do I tell people how to recruit people when nobody wants to be a cop right now? I had no interest in being a police officer, but when my wife got pregnant, I started asking myself the question, like, what am I gonna do to provide for my son? I went to the academy and I graduated number two overall in my class. Uh, I'm, I'm cool for it. For a profession that I despise the most, it almost came natural to me. He told me that he really felt like he would be good at it. He was about six to seven months into it where he realized there could be some education on both sides, both in law enforcement and on the community side. And that's where he really saw the need for him to step up and be different. That's why Breaking Barriers United was created. Like I said, I had some bad experiences with police. I didn't really like police, so when I became a police officer, I started seeing this profession way differently. The mission of Breaking Barriers United is to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community. The way I bridge the gap is I do these seminars, but I also have to make sure I'm not violating this person's rights either. On behalf of all the bad police officers, I do want to tell you guys that I'm sorry, because they exist. How many of you guys want to see better police officers out there? Show of hands. Do me a favor, tase me in my back then, officer. The number one takeaway for kids when I step off the stage at a seminar is that all police officers aren't bad, and I now have met a good officer, and I understand why they do what they do. My name is Ryan Tillman. I'm 34 years old from Southern California. My biggest thing that I want people to take away from my seminars when I'm talking to police officers is remember your why and remember the responsibility you have to yourself and your community. Why did you guys become police officers? Let me ask you guys that. Was it to make a lasting change for people? What about being a beacon of hope? 
And these are just the things I want you guys to think about every time we talk about your why. Make a good throw. There you go. Good we need throw. the community to be able to see the human behind the badge and realize that our profession is a noble and heroic one as opposed to demonizing us. But it's up to us to open their eyes. Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of the It's Needed Podcast, where we discuss real issues involving law enforcement in the community. Under Breaking Barriers United, I try to stay involved in all social media platforms as much as I can because it's a new way to connect. Should I decide to use my taser? Should I elect to use my firearm? What should I do? Now, based off a of first glance at this video, I think this is bad police work. I don't think it was justified. Our profession historically has not been that great of calling out its own. Ryan has one of the most critical gifts that we need in this line of work, and that is the ability to talk to people and find that common ground. So the solutions to coming together and finding common ground is simple, is we have to be willing to hear one another out. So that way we can, you know, lead from the front and be a better community together. With that being said, guys, this has been a true pleasure, a true honor to be here. I love doing this. This is my passion. This is my why. It is very important for me to get others to join my mission. I'm only one man, and so I challenge you today, lead with love, lead with empathy, and lead with respect. That's how we change our country. My name is Ryan Tillman, and I'm inspired to change the face of modern day policing. What are you inspired to do?